Hey guys, my name is Barry Infos and welcome to GTA Vice City, my walk through GTA Vice City. Today we're going to do all the R3 missions that involves Taxi, Vigilante, uh, Pizza Boy, the Ambulance Stink, and Firefighter. There's five, did I say five? It doesn't matter. Now, you may be aware that this is the very beginning of the game. I was able to get to the second island at the very beginning of the game. Let me show you something. If you try to activate the ambulance mission, it's not gonna work. Because the second island is not unlocked yet. Let's try it with the fire truck. Alright, let's see. Is it gonna work? No, it's not. Let's try it with another vehicle. Alright, let's try it with the police car. Is it gonna work? No, it's not. It doesn't work. So what you have to do is go to the old island and then activate this mission because it's not possible. Not only this mission but the ambulance mission and the firefighter mission is not available if you haven't unlocked this island yet. So what I'm gonna do is grab the hunter which I unlocked in the last episode and I'll go to the first island. So let's go! Alright guys, if you're not aware, the best way to get the... to pass the vigilante mission is to get this helicopter right over here. Also, it's very dangerous if you don't have the cop outfit because these guys are gonna shoot at you. So, now, also in, in order to unlock this helicopter, is to uh, you have to get all the 100 hidden packages and it's very easy to pass the vigilante mission with it. Ha ha ha! Whoa! Awesome explosion! Anyway, if you try to activate this mission over here, it's not gonna work, so we have to go to the first island and then activate it. So I'm gonna go there and I'll be back with you guys. Alright guys, I made the first island and this guy is annoying me. Let's destroy him! Oh, I cannot see him, I cannot see him, I cannot see him. Anyway, let's activate this mission. Over here is gonna work, because this is the first island. Let me go now. What you have to do is survive 12 levels and with this hunter it is extremely easy. So there we go. Destroy! Dude, don't try to avoid me. You're dead. As you can see, the easiest and best way is with this helicopter and make sure not to destroy it because it's very valuable. If you try it with a car, it's gonna be a lot more difficult. You need actual weapons. What am I doing? What am I doing? I have to use the arrow keys because uh, my minigun things are at the wrong button. I don't want to bother setting it correctly. Also, it doesn't matter how many cops are chasing you. It doesn't matter at all. So, yep, just do that. See? So much easy. Let's destroy this guy. Let's show you a few levels, not all the levels, because it's, it's basically the same thing over and over again. And I'm starting to smoke, so I have to stop the video right here, because I am very distracted by talking. Talking makes me nervous <laughs> and I make mistakes. So I don't want to make any more mistakes. Destroy! Next vehicle. Yeah, I'm gonna see you guys a little later. I showed you how to do this mission the best way. First of all, grab all the hidden packages and then worry about uh, this mission because, yeah, you're gonna have a bad time if you don't use this. And also, you can use a tank if that's your preferred method. I just don't like using the tank. I like using this thing because it's so much better than anything else. Anyway, guys, I'll see you a little later. Alright, guys, this is the last pack of them. Pretty easy. As you saw, yeah, it's extremely easy to pass this mission with the hunter. You can do this forever until it explodes, by the way, so you can do this uh, however much you want if you need money, if you just wanna. You know, goof around if you don't need money but you want to goof around, just do this. And the bonus is lots of health. So let's start this mission. I finished it, you need to survive 12 levels and I did that. I don't want to get more money so I'm just gonna stop right over here. Let's not use the arrow keys anymore because I don't want to. I hate the arrow keys. And I'm gonna save right over here, you can shoot me however much you want guys. Let's hide and let's save. Also, I want to show you something. The bonus is 150 armor. There we go, 150 armor, that's your reward. So let's go with another mission. Okay guys, the next mission I'm going to show you is the firefighter mission. 
Now, you might be aware that there's no spawn point for that vehicle over here. The fire truck is not spawnable on this first island, and in order to get it, just set a few fires here and there. It's eventually gonna come. What? What did you do, bro? Stupid. Yep. Just set a few fires, and there's the fire truck. Now get it. Whoop, bro. Okay. It's mine. It's mine. Right. And I'm going to show you an amazing way of actually passing this mission. A very, very, very easy way. It might be considered an, an exploit, but we shall see. First of all, oops. First of all, I'm going to go and grab a star, a bribe, and uh, get rid of this, these cops first because they are annoying. So let's do that and I'll be back. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to show you the proper way of doing this mission. This is not my preferred way, but it's a way. You can aim this as at your will, you know, move it left, right, up and down, like so, downwards and whatnot, but it's not my preferred way of doing things, so that's why I'm not gonna do it this way. Basically, you have to extinguish vehicles. It's that easy. Now, at the later levels, people are actually gonna get out of their vehicles and try to escape, because they're on fire, they're panicked, so they try to run away and extinguish the fire, but you're the only one who can save the day. And you have to extinguish them too, even the people, yes. So, the best way, let me show you another uh, level, and then I'm gonna do the easy way. I usually do it this way, but sometimes I do it the other way, the easy way. I've done it actually only once the other way. Let me extinguish this dude, and destroy it. Okay, not destroy it, saved. There's a huge difference. Anyway, this is gonna be it for the easy way. Let me show you the fast way. Okay, so let's begin. Now, first of all, find one of these clothing things. At this point of the game, only this one is unlocked. So if you're a little bit advanced, if you have passed a few missions, find one of these wherever you wish. It doesn't matter which suit it is. Just find one of them and just grab it, first of all. Okay, and stand right over here. Now press F3. Wait for a little bit. Like that. Press F2 and F1. Now wait for a little bit and press F1 again. Okay, so this replay over here is saved this way. Let's, let me see, press F3, there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna go make my way to the first talent, find a a firefighter, I mean a fire truck, I'm gonna find a fire truck and do the mission since this is already saved. So let's go there, I'm gonna find a fire truck and show you how to do it very easily. Okay, so let me show you. Now, what you do is activate the mission, first of all. Park your vehicle, press F3, and F3 again. And there we go. First one, done. F3, F3 again, second done. F3, F3 again, and until this is finished, see, it's extremely easy. This might be considered an exploit, but yes, it is. In my opinion, it is an exploit. But this mission is extremely annoying and I don't want to do it the traditional way. I have done it many, many, many times in the traditional way, but I don't want to anymore. So, yeah, I'm going to do this for a while until, until it's finished. So, be right back. And there we go. That's enough. Twelve. Levels completed. The easy way, 32,000 bucks. Now, this is a cheat way of getting uh, money, so I'm not gonna do it. It's also a cheat way of, of passing this mission, but they just don't like this mission a lot, so that's why I did it. Also, this game is prone to crashes, so this mission is also a very crash. I'm not gonna get this back, I'm gonna get this back, because, you know, there's a mission here, I don't wanna access this mission yet. But anyway, this is it for this mission, the easy way of doing it. Hope this helped you a little bit at least. Now I have to just escape. Also, as I said, be sure to save before this mission because it is very prone to crashes. Because you're not supposed to do this, <laughs> but I did. So anyway, I'm gonna save right over here and go to the other mission. And the third mission I'm gonna show you in this video is the Pizza Boy mission. Let me get that, actually I don't want that. Anyway. If you access this bike, it's gonna activate the mission. Now what you have to do is deliver pizzas. It's that easy. Deliver pizzas. This mission is pretty easy. 
and the bonus it gives you is amazing, so I like the bonus a lot. Somebody left these uh, things there, what am I doing? So basically, with every level you get one more customer and the pizzas are six. You have to deliver, you can carry six pizzas at a time. Now if these pizzas uh, disappear, I mean if you have no pizzas left you have to refill. And as, you, and as I said, uh, with every level there's one more customer. Let me see. At level 1 there's one customer, at level 2 there's two customers, and at level 7 there's 7 of course. And that means that you have to go refill, because you have only 6 pizzas and 7 customers. You have to go back to the pizza place. Now unfortunately there's no cheating way of passing this mission. If there was I would probably use it if it wasn't too cheaty. I don't consider the firefighter to be too cheaty. Shut up bro! Uh, don't you, why, give me the pizzas, <laughs> please. These need Thanks, dude. Oh, I didn't kill him. <laughs> anyway, yeah, there's no cheat way of passing this mission, so you just have to do it the traditional. Okay, let me go there. Let me pass this mission. Let me go to uh, level ten. There's only ten levels in this one, not twelve. So let me do this, and I'll be back with you guys. Also, something else I wanted to point out. Sometimes these guys spawn over here and it may be kind of difficult seeing them on the mini-map so bring out your map and as you can see this guy is way over there so I have to go all the way over there. Also something very important, if you tap the num9 button which is the lean forward button yeah, the bike will go lots, a lot faster. So you do that just like this as you can see the bike is uh, way faster than, it's normally, than it normally is. Also, something also important, with all the commotion in the last mission with the fire truck, I forgot to say that uh, the reward is to be fireproof, so now I'm not gonna catch fire, never! Well, I can get catch fire, but it's not gonna hurt me at all, which is awesome! For some mission, it's gonna be very helpful. Also, as you can see, my pizzas are over, so I have to refill, this is level 9, and there's also only one more level to go. So I'm gonna go there, refill, Go to level 10, and I'll be back with you guys a little later. And the last pizza delivery. There we go. This level 10, and this was the last customer. Also, I forgot to mention you don't have to be extremely accurate when you toss these pizzas. If you toss them a little in front of them, they're gonna go and chase them. But don't toss them a lot in front of them, so because you know eh, it's not gonna work. You have to go refill again. As you can see, a level 10 completed. Now we can run. Oh wait, wait a second, uh, the running is for the ambulance. Now we have a lot of health. 150 health. I'm gonna do the ambulance now. First I'm gonna save, do the ambulance and get the infinite sprint. So I'll be right back. And it's time for the most annoying mission in this game. Any GTA 3, any, any game. It's the most annoying one. Now, what I advise you to do is grab this chainsaw and chainsaw this door and also these two doors. Oops. Just walk and activate it. Plop, there we go. All the doors are unlocked. But we could, uh, I mean, without this one because this one is not that necessary. What you have to do is activate the mission, and you have to get passengers. Now these passengers are gonna get on your vehicle. You have to survive uh, uh, 12 levels, and since these doors are gone, it's much easier for them to get on this ambulance. Now you could do this at the other island if it's unlocked. Mine is not currently unlocked. Dude, did he run you over? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, if this happens in level 12, it is awful. I incredibly bad. Oh, it's good that it happens here. <laughs> you have to survive. This is the most annoying mission. This is because it it's so easy to kill them and it doesn't give you much time. The one in GTA 3 is a lot harder though, so uh, if you're gonna compare, this one is a lot easier. And also in San Andreas, it's easier than this one. The San Andreas one is easier than this one. But the GTA 3 one is a lot harder. So this is in the middle, the middle cl class. But as I said, just take your doors off because it's gonna be easier for them to get on your vehicle. So that's it, you have to survive. Not survive, but uh, basically pass. 12 levels 
which is pretty difficult. If you kill somebody in the last level, it's bad, really bad. But yeah, as you can see, every single level gives you one more patient, and you have to. Uh, you can get only twelve. I mean, only three patients at a time. You cannot get any more than that. And if they spawn on the beach, it's terrible. So you could want to save this for the second island, but I. I prefer to have the infinite sprint now instead of later. So that's why I'm doing it now. Alright, guys, I'm gonna see you a lot later. I hope I don't kill anybody. I hate killing somebody in this mission. This mission is terrible. Also, there's a huge exploit with this mission. You can pass it very easily. There's a teleport glitch in this game, which I can use, but it also screws up your map completely. Your map is always gonna have these little dots on it until the end of the game and that's gonna be pretty distracting for the viewers who you know who watch and wanna learn about the game it's gonna distract them so I'm not gonna use it basically you can teleport right next to the hospital with a glitch and I'm not gonna use that glitch because it's way cheaty and it's way distracting that's gonna be it let me pass this mission and I'll be back with you guys after level 12 finally the last person at level 12 Guys, this mission is terrible, I hate it so much. One of my patients died at level 10. At level 10 one of my patients died. Uh, anyway, this fi is finished completely and the reward is to never get tired. Oh, great. Awesome. Okay, I can never get tired. Woohoo! That's it guys. I'm gonna go safe and do the taxi mission. Be right back. Last and least is the taxi mission. Now what you have to do in this mission is grab one of the taxis. There's three taxis available. This one, the other one next to me and the zebra taxi which is available after completing all the missions in Cow of Mine Caps. So what you do is activate the mission, look for a fair, you can look at your minimap, there's a fair, this fat dude, get in here and just take him to the destination. He's gonna give you a destination. So just take them there and you have to complete 100 fairs. It doesn't have to be in a row. You can do one now and two months later you can do another one. And you have to basically do 100 for the 100% completion. So, yeah, just take them there. Also, I already did this. As you can see, the reward is this. Oh yeah. Now, I'm gonna show you the last fair. I wasn't able to record my voice back then, but I did record the last fair. So I'm gonna show you that right now. And as you saw, the bonus after a lot of fairs in a row is a lot. That's why I did it in a row. You don't have to do it in a row. But I did because of the bonus. And as you can see, my money is so, so, so much. It's a lot of money, man. For, for 95 fairs, you get 950. Uh, no? Yeah, you get lots of money. For 100 fairs, you get 10,000 and whatnot. So. This is it. Now, you may think that the reward is pretty stupid. Let me sh stop this mission. You might think that the reward is very stupid. Well, it's not. This is a very well used stunting method, mainly by uh, by newbies who don't know much about stunting because it's a very easy method to use. So, let me show you actually what it does. Let me find a good spot for a stunt. And there it is. As you can see, this gives me a lot of height and it's very easy to use. You just need a lot of a bit of practice, not lots of practice, but a bit of practice. You get bonuses for that, but it's mainly used for stunting. Also, I forgot to tell you, there's also a way to get two passengers at a time, but that involves a lot of tricks and it's not practical and also ruins your map because you're always gonna get these stupid little dots on it which you cannot get rid of, which is very annoying. So I don't do that. This took me exactly 1 hour and 45 minutes to complete. So it's a very boring mission and you have to do the same thing over and over and over again 100 times. And it's terrible. So, it's gonna be it for this video guys. Thanks for watching, hope you stick around for the next videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.